Hey you guys, it's Teresa Plus 5 and I'm back with another video. Today you guys is going to be a cooking vlog. Yes. So today you guys, I'm going to be making pan seared salmon. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be delicious. Ooh. I'm making loaded mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. With the bacon chives, cheese, all that stuff. And some roasted Brussels sprouts, okay? That was a tongue twister. Roasted Brussels sprouts, loaded mashed potatoes, and salmon pan seared salmon. Anyways, you guys, so um, let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> okay, so you guys, to make this meal, of course, we're gonna need salmon. So I personally use the skinless salmon only because I don't like to peel off the gray part on the back, okay, the scale part. This pack of salmon was $7.35. This pack was 11.14. I don't know why, maybe it's a little heavier. I don't know. And this pack was 9.76, okay? I'm also gonna need mashed potatoes. So you guys, I'm gonna be using the instant mashed potatoes, the sour cream and chives kind. I'm gonna be using bacon bits in the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna be using shredded triple cheddar cheese and the Brussels sprouts, okay? So that's all we're gonna need to make this meal. See how the salmon doesn't have the black back on it, you guys, the silver part? Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna put paper towel over my salmon so they can dry. Then I'll put the seasoning on it. And after this dries on the front, I'll turn the salmon around on the back and then put more paper towel on the back. Okay, so you guys, the salmon is dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and season on both sides. I'm gonna use garlic powder, onion powder, Cajun seasoning, and black pepper. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna put some extra virgin olive oil in the pan. Turn my eye on six. Give my pan a little swish around, a little swish around. Come on in the middle, baby. Don't want to go in the middle. Look at that, y'all. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to wait till the pan get hot, and then I'm going to throw my salmon in there. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to be using my favorite lavender silicone spatula today, okay? 
Right here, I'm pushing it, but I'm, I'm gonna slide it right there for y'all. Y'all see that? Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mashed potatoes on. I need to boil the water first. Okay, y'all see that? The salmon is going. So, you guys, it's time to flip the salmon over. I usually cook them for seven minutes and then I turn them over. Oh, look at that salmon, y'all. Look at that. Somebody come look at this. Oh. Okay, let's turn the next one. Thanks. Y'all see that? All right, let's turn this one over here, y'all. I'm a little nervous about this one. Oh, so I usually use my hands too, y'all, the time. So my hands clean. Okay, let's turn this one back here. I'm a little nervous about this one back here. Yeah. Because it probably ain't getting that much heat. Oh, okay, it's getting a little heat. We'll have to cook down a little bit more because it's on the end. It ain't getting that much love. So we're gonna cook this for seven more minutes and then we'll be done with these four. Okay, so you guys, the water is boiling. Put our mashed potatoes in. All right. Gonna put some more mashed potatoes in here. Put a little butter in here, y'all. Some bacon bits. And some triple cheddar cheese. Look at that, you guys. <clears throat> okay, so you guys, the salmon is done. Okay, so you guys, I've washed off all my Brussels sprouts and I'm going to, well, I've already peeled this one off, but you're gonna cut it down at the tail and then cut them in half. Like that. Put them in a bowl. Now this one I'm gonna peel off until she's bald. Okay? That way I can cut her better. See how you have to take all the peels off or leaves? And Brussels sprouts, they taste like mini cabbages to me. Cutting off the tail. Cutting in half. Okay, so you guys, I have cut all my Brussels sprouts up in half. Now I'm going to season them with garlic powder. Y'all know I love garlic powder, so don't be judging me. Onion powder. Cajun seasoning. and black pepper. I'm gonna put some extra virgin olive oil in here. I'm not doing bad stuff. Why did you steal this Gonna shake them around. 
y'all getting dizzy from me shaking these Brussels sprouts? Okay, so you guys, I have some parchment paper on a pen, and I'm just gonna spread my Brussels sprouts on the paper. Like that. Yo, y'all don't hear my refrigerator? It sounds like police sirens or something. Woo, woo, it's the sound of the police. Woo, woo, it's the sound of the police. Woo, woo, it's the sound of the police. <laughs> Y'all, this is terrible. Okay, so you guys, the Brussels sprouts are done. Turn one over for y'all. Y'all see that? They're done. Okay, so you guys, this is my food. Okay, so you guys, since I didn't do shot o'clock, I decided to make myself a strawberry mango smoothie with sea moss in it, so I'm still gonna get a healthy supplement, okay? Okay, so you guys, I put mangoes, strawberries, bananas, chia seeds. Look how the sea moss came out, you guys. Ooh, I'm gonna put two tablespoons or two teaspoons. Okay, y'all see that? Mm. Okay, so y'all, I'm putting me some crayon apple in here. Y'all, this is so good. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This beat the shots, okay? Mm. The more mangoes and strawberries you add, the sweeter it is. So good. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to close out this cooking vlog. But if you guys like this vlog, please be sure to give me a like, mm -hmm. comment, and subscribe, and also put that notification bell on so you and her over there, and him over there, and her down there, y'all hear Jeremy, and her over there can be notified every time we post new content. And also, I would like to thank my videographer, my 10 year old son, Taylor. He's behind the camera for most of the cooking vlogs. Yep. So thank y'all for recording the vlog, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. This is my videographer. Thank you so much, Taylor. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Tell me.